Oh yeah. Even that sounds different. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. The 2023 Indian FTR Carbon Edition. Right now we got it on standard mode. This bike has three modes. We're gonna be doing a lot of content on this bike because I, uh, I, I like it. I like riding this bike. It looks and it feels of high quality. Indian FTR Carbon Edition. Wow, what a beauty. This is my new bike. Well, semi-new, let me just clarify that. So this is a loaner from India. So huge shout out to Indian for loaning this bike to me for some time right now. Um, India's always taking care of me, man. Like this is this must be the third loaner I have. And it's a really cool experience. I get to take these bikes. I get to experience them, keep them in my garage, ride them, do everything I want with them. Um, and it's it's awesome. It, it really helps me obviously connect with you guys, give you guys my feedback on what I think about their bikes, um, and really just give you guys in-depth reviews and a detailed look um, instead of just you know taking a bike out for a quick review here and there. Um, this is more so me living with the bike for some time. Um, so really quick, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna talk about the bike real quick, and then we're gonna go on the road, give you guys my first initial impression on the bike. I have, been, I have not been on the bike yet. I've, the bike has been in my garage for a few days. I just haven't had the time to get on it. Um, and no, this is not gonna be a review. We're not gonna go into detail with some things. Strictly, 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 this is gonna be my first honest uh, opinion of just getting on the bike, feeling it out, um, feeling the power, feeling the comfort, the ergonomics of it, and just every, and see what, what, what the bike has to offer. Um, this is not a type of, uh, Type of bike that I'm used to. Um, obviously, I have a 2021 Harley Davidson Rogue Glide in my garage right now. So obviously, going from a bike like that to a bike like this is a huge, huge difference. Um, and real quick, let's just talk about what stands out to me on the bike, and then we'll just get on the road and finish talking about everything else. So obviously, uh, it just stands out like a mile away. This bike, the carbon part. So you're gonna have that carbon fiber on the tank right there. Carbon fiber on that front little chopped tiny front fender, which looks really, really, really cool. You're gonna have that carbon fiber cover right there around the headlamp, which looks really, really cool as well. And then obviously the Olin's front suspension, Olin's mono shock in the back, which is right to the right of the bike, stands out. Wow, it looks super cool. You're gonna have that dual exhaust here on the right side. Looks really cool. Um, it's a stock exhaust, it's not gonna sound like crazy, crazy. I'm pretty sure after putting uh, 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 an aftermarket exhaust on this bike, the bike will definitely sound a lot better. Um, the seat from a mile away, it looks good. It looks pristine. It looks and it feels of high quality. It really does. I, I like the different textures on it. Um, I like the I like where the FTR is placed right there. The logo looks really cool. The rear tail lamp, it looks really nice. Looks real sporty. Um, that's one thing about this bike. This bike does look sporty. Um, it, it just screams out I'm different. It screams out I'm fast. I'm here to have fun. Just get on me and take me on the road and let's do some hooligan stuff. Um, so you know what? Talking about that, that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So let's go. All right, we got the bike outside. Let's get on it real quick. Oh, this bike is this bike is just so cool man it just it looks awesome give you guys a little sound clip of what the bike sounds like real quick with the stock stock exhaust right now let me let you know I am not that tall guys I am more on the shorter end 57 so I'm kind of like tippy toe on this bike right here now getting on the bike she feels comfortable. It feels very, very small. I don't know if maybe it's because I'm coming off my road glide that this bike just feels tiny. And, I, and like I said, I'm a, I'm a short guy, man. I'm 5'7". But this bike does feel tiny in a way. But at the same time, it's a little, little tall because I'm tippy toeing. But not too bad. Right now, we got it on standard mode. This bike has three modes. We got standard, we got sport, and then we have rain mode. I didn't want to go ahead and put it on sport just because I want to get the, you know, the full experience of what this bike kind of feels like regularly. Sport, like I, I've, I've written sport on uh, 
on the other Indians and sport is like it's it's it's, it's too much at times, especially when you're going around little little rides around town. It's you, you you don't you don't need it. It's more funner for like the highways and you know wide open roads and everything. But for stop and go traffic, you do not want to be in sport. A beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey today. By the way, blue skies, clear skies, around 75 to 80 degrees today. Amazing Mother Nature has been blessing us this whole week with beautiful weather. And um, I'm just happy that I'm on this bike. I get to get on this bike now because it's just been sitting in my garage. I'm like, oh, I want to ride it. And it's been so busy with work and the family. Today was the perfect day though, man. So let's talk about ergonomics real quick. So I've been on the bike for a few minutes now. It does feel comfortable. Um, it, it's, it's more of a sportier feel, guys. So I know a lot of you guys watching this video right now, a lot of you guys might be guys who, you know, ride naked bikes. I can't tell you too much about other naked bikes. I have maybe been on the MT-07, if anything, and the MT-09, but I haven't had too much time on those bikes to compare them to that or, you know, different feels and everything. But what I can do is compare this to cruisers because i mean indian makes cruisers and most of the people looking at, at this bike are cruiser riders people who are either already in the indian family or even people who are who are uh, harley davidson owners who kind of want a secondary bike um and want to know what this feel like so coming from that perspective hey what's up coming from that perspective that's the perspective that i'm going to be talking about now more so for you newer riders or anyone who's brand new to this type of bike right here i don't know if i can help you that much but i can give you my initial thought coming off of a cruiser now if you do not know much about me guys i have a channel where i, I mainly just ride harley davidson's i own harley davidson's um but Indian, uh, oh man, Indian kind of has my heart. I, I love what Indian does with those products. In the last few years, they've been coming out with some great stuff, like the FTR right here. So right now in my garage, I have a 2021 Road Glide special. Um, previous to that, well, a little, a few weeks back, I had a 2020 Lowrider S, which I've, I've had for the past three, four years. Um, I also had an FXR. Before that, I had a Dyna. Before that, I had a Sportster as well. So all cruisers nothing sporty like this there was a time a few years ago where i was looking at uh getting a sporty bike well i was looking at naked bikes um but that was right before indian came out with, with this version of ftr now if you're not too familiar with the ftr um indian oh okay also this does have the rear uh cylinder deactivation that's why it sounded a little different okay cool prior to indian having this ftr right here indian did have the first ftr the first version of it and when that model came out i loved it i mean it looked almost identical to this just a few little different features um but i really loved the way that bike looked and i went out on a test ride one day they had a demo ride at the uh at my local indian uh dealership which is what motorcycle mall that's where it's at I got on the bike and I got to be honest, I wasn't happy. The bike was too tall. Like I said, I'm 5'7", so the bike was too tall for me, man. I, I could hardly even tippy toe the bike. Um, suspension on it just didn't feel good. Um, it just the ergonomics of everything didn't feel good. I just, I was, I was very disappointed, man. Um, fast forward, Indian upgrades everything. The, and he, here's the thing about India, man. Like they actually listen to their their customers. You know, they they they're constantly collecting a lot of feedback to see what works, what isn't working, um, and it, it all comes from the consumers. So basically, what they did, they listened to everything that all the consumers had to say about the bike, and they changed everything. So they changed the suspension. They made the bike lower. They um, changed the wheel sizes as well. So this one does have smaller wheels than the original FTR did. Um, and the suspension got upgraded, just just everything, man. And now, even getting on this now is such a huge difference because I was not enjoying that ride that time when I got on that bike. But even now, with a few minutes I've been on this bike, I mean, I haven't really opened her up or anything like that, but just cruising around, the bike does feel really, really comfortable. So if you are looking for a comfortable um, naked bike or sportier bike like this, this is uh, this definitely has that, that feeling. So there. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yo. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> wow. Yo, this bike is fast. <laughs> I wasn't even going that faster, but the fact that it just gets up so quick and it's just you feel the power, man. And this is on standard mode, like I said. We'll we'll try sport mode in a few minutes. Just want to keep playing around with this thing. Um, let's see how the way he handles and uh, twisties because we got a nice little turn here and then coming along. We got a nice some nice curve roads coming up ahead. Whoa! And then you got people like this who drive like idiots. Now, ground clearance, this is a pretty tall bike, so I don't think you guys are going to have any issues when it comes to uh, ground clearance. What I want to do one of these days as well is kind of is, is put that to the test. Take this bike up to Bear Mountain, and uh, there's a lot of twisty roads up there, which I want to go ahead and try it out. But it handles really good around the corners. Oh, damn traffic. Let's see how it handles throughout all this traffic here. <laughs> Picked the wrong time, man. It's like 5-ish, almost 6 o'clock. <laughs> ah, perfect for this. Perfect for getting in and out of traffic because Jesus, this is like power everywhere. Power band of this bike is like, god damn, it's like there's power everywhere. Definitely a different feeling from you know riding on a cruiser. Obviously, on a on a cruiser, you're uh, you're you're upright, you got your bars up here. I'm I'm used to riding with bars up here. Some of you guys have cruisers that you have this type of setup, but I'm I'm more of a T-bar type of guy. So in this configuration here, you're you're very up straight very very up you get the low bars right here but it's really comfortable and then the the, the positioning of the of the foot pegs are way behind me which i'm not i'm not used to that but it's obviously more of a sportier feel but it's pretty comfortable um not aggressive like a sport bike but pretty sporty at the same time if that makes any sense Handles, oh my gosh, she's so nimble. She just handles great. Like wherever you just tip her over, like so light. <laughs> this bike is a lot of fun. I'll tell you what, if you like speed, you're gonna <laughs> You might find yourself in some trouble with this bike because she just wants to go. I'm a huge fan of this uh, this tachometer right here that Indian has. It's all touchscreen for those of you guys who don't know, so you're able to navigate and see a bunch of stuff on here. Um, that's really, really, really cool. You're able to change your your riding modes through here. You got your outside temperature right now is 80. Oh, it's even hotter than I thought. It's 85 degrees. Uh, battery power. Um, yeah, you see your gas consumption. Uh, da, 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 your range. Elevation, this main menu here gives you options of everything. Your ride, your bike, uh, your map, so you got your turn by turn GPS. One thing which India needs to upgrade is the GPS because it does take a long time to kind of like load up. Um, and it's like a little laggy. Um, but then you also do have connectivity for your Bluetooth. So you can listen to your music on here. Pretty cool. Access to your phone. You want to see your gauges here. And uh, so on and so on. Now, if you don't want to touch it, you are also able to navigate that through this button right here on my left side. Um, that makes it a lot easier for you guys who don't want to be touching the screen. Um, high beam, low beam right here for your controls. Um, you can also navigate uh, through here. That's another option as well. This flickering button on my right side. Cutoff switch, power button. 
um, you're gonna have cruise control on this bike, which is pretty awesome. Cruise control on a sporty bike like this, pretty, pretty cool. Um, your back button right here as well on the left. Um, and your turn signals. And last but not least, your horn. Uh, we're coming up right here in Brutt's Hut, guys. We're gonna, it's gonna be a really huge bike night coming up here. So if you wanna know more about that and you're in the local area, I'm gonna be at Rutz next month in june the information will be posted up if you want to know more about that follow me on my instagram if you're not following me on my instagram guys marble kid 87 same name as my youtube channel so you can find out more information about that more information about other rides that i do and just daily post on uh on my bikes well my bike right now we have a little road glide here and i have this beautiful ftr here for some time hopefully some time So let's do this. Let's pull over real quick and let's put this thing on uh, sport mode. Look at the GPS. So you're able to zoom in, zoom out. Pretty cool. All right. So this menu button right here, click that one. And like I said, we have rain. We're on standard right now. We're going to go ahead and try sport mode. Oh, wow. Yeah. Even that sounds different. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. Yeah, that's like huge different already. Let me uh, put the gauges on. Let's see what we're doing. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this bike just wants to come up. It wants to just come up the front wheel. That front wheel. <laughs> it just picks up so much power right away and then you can feel it, man. You can feel it so much. It's a beast. This bike is a little beast. feels so well planted man the suspension just oh my god it feels amazing man i haven't even started to like tweak with it or play around with it to see what um how comfortable i want the bike or how stiff i want the ride or i haven't touched it at all but right now it just feels great the way it is She's fun. <laughs> She's fun. Oh, everything is so comfortable on this bike, man. If you want to get real aggressive on the bike and just lean over, you could do that. If you want to just hang around, just chill and cruise around, upright position, you could do that. If you want to just chill, put it on a standard mode, you could do that. If you want to be a hooligan, put it on sport mode and just have a time of your life, you can do that too. I think that's going to conclude everything. My first impression on this bike, I, abs I absolutely love it. <laughs> I, I can't pick something that I, I, I don't like right now. I, I really can't. Well, um, we're going to be doing a lot of content on this bike because I, uh, I, I like it. I like riding this bike. Um, the next one should probably be like a, an in-depth like, review of the bike. 
um, and then we're gonna do a lot of rides around with a bike and like I said I want to take it up to Bear Mountain take it on Twisties see how she handles that'll be its own video as well have a few discussion videos on the bike um, and then we'll try to see what we can compare this bike to as well down the line but a lot of cool stuff on the way um, so if that's what you want to see definitely in the right place go ahead like comment subscribe hit that bell button this will notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and like always guys let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace